age of the universe, proving the existence of black holes. It's the storm of the heavens just happened. Back and, you know, I think the end of the story is not over yet. Human beings on this earth ever imagined that they would be able to see? We can't, because human life is very precious. We had seven astronauts on the space shuttle. This is a robotics competition in which students program autonomous little satellites inside the International Space Station. With the middle school competition, we're trying to engage the marginalized, disengaged youth so that what happens is eventually we'll see a diversification of that pipeline. This is what your kids will be programming. The robot is the sphere getting set up for the Spheres experiment that's about to take place on the space station. Running, zero and running, and spheres, they are little robots. They are little satellites. They fly inside the space station. How many of you, if you could get a free ride into space, would take it? How many want, would take it? OK, most of you. Good. My observation is that the early years and the middle years of a young person's life are the crucial years for them to get exposure to different opportunities and to find out where their passion is. We want people to join our nation's technology effort. Our space program needs strong engineers and scientists. But in the end, the work that technology people do, the work that people do at NASA is making people's lives better by gathering information to solve problems we have, for example, or to help us make our lives more simple and more productive. My name is Advik, and I'm 10 years old. And uh, when I grow up, I don't really know what I want to do yet. I just think it's cool that you can make something from Earth go out and visit other places. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> to expand. It's like ships that can cross the seas. Rocket ships that can cross the galaxies. Whenever people say the sky is the limit, I just think that they're wrong because there is much more ahead of them.